and welcome to a brand new YouTube series uh, guiding you through the Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon Diagostini part work. Um, I've got parts one and two here. I literally just saw them in the local WH Smith and I bought them without any second thought. I bought them, I was like, yes, I'm making that. Boom. I subscribed straight away when I got back and I very quickly put together all the parts so whereas in future videos I will be showing you how to put them together um, this video is a bit different because most of it's already put together because I was like a kid at Christmas and I just couldn't wait um, just so you know a little bit about where I come from in the Star Wars uh, model universe as it were I don't know of any other Millennium Falcon uh, models um, I don't know anything about them, I don't know prices, I don't know quality. Um, I looked at a couple of the forums when I got back and I could see that there were already comparisons were being made to others. I don't know anything about that. This is all coming from uh, Fresh Eyes as a model maker. It's my first part work as well. Um, I am signed up to Eagle Moss's Dot 2 collection and some of the Star Trek starships. But this is my first part work, so yeah, don't come to me for advice about what's it like compared to other models. No idea. This is just a fresh look at a brand new model, which I hope will be fantastic. I really hope it will be fantastic. And the parts that came with these two issues, really, really good. I really love them. So just so you know, this is going to be a two-year project. Um, there's 100 issues, um, 2 99 for the first one as you can see and then 8.99 for the subsequent ones 100 issues um, it's gonna have light up features movable parts there's gonna be some talk about how to paint it if you need to uh, in future issues um, also if you subscribe you do get gifts like with any of these things you do get gifts uh, the first gift to get it into focus here there we go so, actually no, I'm not going to do it first, gifts, because as with these things, the gifts kind of tend to come if and when they like. Not if, they will come when they like. But the one I'm most excited for is the limited edition hand solo figurine. Um, that will look very nice displayed to it. Uh, a t-shirt, which I haven't had to give out um, sizes for anything when I subscribed, so it might be too small, might be too big. The free binder, of course, for all the magazines and the high quality display stand. Already, I don't know whether this will come in the last issue or whether this will come in issue 8 as different sources say different things. Um, just so you know, even though this does come with magazines, try to focus again, um, I'm not going to be looking at these magazines at all in, this, uh, in these videos because I think if you really want to read what's in the magazines, then you've Got to buy it. Got to leave something for the collectors. Don't want to ruin it all. I will just be going through the model parts. So if I just move these out of the way. With issue one. You get. A blueprint. Oh there we go. There's some more. Free gifts. Gift one, gift two. Bigger pictures. Bit more details there. Of the San, Han, San Holo, yeah, the San Holo figure, why not? Anyway, so yes, issue one comes with a blueprint of the model. And as I just unfold this here, I will tell you now, it is going to be huge. My girlfriend is worried about where I'm going to put it when it's all done. As am I, look at it, it's massive. Um, I don't know, okay, this is a PS Vita 2000. It's pretty huge. It's going to be amazing. Um, these light, the lighter blue here is to symbolise the kind of hull plating that will be removable and you'll be able to see the insides. So for example the cockpit here, uh, you've got the table and the seats there, things like that. So it's a really, it's, it's shaping up to be a really good model. I'm really excited. Not only will it be beautiful and big, it will have light up parts, it will have interior works. I'm really excited for it, it has to be said. Okay, so let's look at the actual parts. Uh, these, well, this is issue one 
and two. That's the metal work, that's what it will look like when it's all done. I'll go on to that a little bit later. Um, so issue one comes with the back panel of the cockpit. Um, this is a sticker, I've li look, I've very nicely ruined that for you so you can see that it does stick down. Um, I have stuck it down already. Um, you peel it off, you stick it on, um, matching it up exactly so that everything, all the holes, come on focus. Come on. It's not happy. There we go. So all the holes match up. Oh no, crikey. All the holes match up. Um, make sure you put it on the smooth side, as the rigid side here is for the outside. And the reason that we've got holes in is when it's all backlit and hold to the light, the instrument panels will glow. How cool is that? Which would be amazing. That's very well thought out, I think. Um, you also comes with the main area of the cockpit. That bit goes into there, like so, and cut. Ta-da, there we go. Now I haven't glued this in because there's gonna be chairs and there's gonna be a door put in and all sorts. So I just clip that in to show you what it'll look like. Actually, even though I did unfold it, you wouldn't be able to see it, I hope, anyway. Hopefully it'll have some kind of floor. We'll see. But yes, so that is the cockpit. Also with part one, it comes with the quad laser cannons. Uh, this comes in three parts, as you can see with the join here. There you go. So the top part, the bottom part, and the swivelly part. So it's very simple, you put the swivel part, put the swivel part in between, and you screw it into that hole there. Now, what I really like is that it is catered for non-model makers and people who might make mistakes, like me. Um, issue one came with two screws when there's only one screw hole. They came with a spare, and that was needed because I lost the spare quite quickly. Um, issue two also came with a spare screw. So there is one spare screw with every part so far, and I hope it will continue. I don't see why it wouldn't. So if you do lose one screw, that's not the end of the world. But be careful. I, I, did, I was doing it on the floor. I was so excited. I got out on the floor, lost the screws in the carpet. Oh dear. Right, and here we have a piece of hole plating. Millennium Falcon colours. A bit distressed. Like I said, if you want to, there will be guides in future issues about how to paint it to make it a little bit more battle torn but they have given you kind of guidelines and and uh, done some of the paintwork for you I like it a lot I think it's very impressive just so you know this is plastic this is plastic this is die cast metal so I can tap it not sure you can hear that but there we go so die cast metal gun yeah, so metal and plastic parts. I, I, I tell you, I am excited about all this. Um, also, it came with these two parts. No connectors, just two random metal parts. They're also metal. I can hear that a bit better. Um, yeah, so that's issue one. Issue two then came with some more hole plating. Star Wars fans will know where this is for. I will show you on the blueprint later. A little bit distressed, a little bit of very uniform distress. Look at that line there. Um, there's meant, these are meant to be red. Now I don't know whether future parts will cover these parts and make them red or whether that's a paint app that will be guided to in the future. I don't know. But I'm going to leave that as it is for now. Um, so part one's gun, part two's thing. It slots in there and cut. There we go. Quad laser cannon, movable. Metal, plastic, really, really nice. I think I may have actually put this on upside down because, oh, focus. It's got a number there. Now a rule of thumb is, 
Rule of thumb. Uh, yeah, I put it in upside down, so I'm going to have to redo that. And redone. Okay, so uh, a rule of thumb is that none of the model, when it's all finished, should have any of the numbers showing, none of the part numbers. So once dash seven here, where the screw hole is, the top of the cannon completely mark free. Okay, so metal, plastic, plastic metal, really nice. Connects well, not glued in again. Yep. So I'm just going to pop this down and put this over on the blueprint here. So there you go. Just to give you a sense of the size, the blueprint is 1-1. One, one. That is what the Millennium Falcon will look like. Mahoosive. So, the metal parts then of 1 and 2. Once again, the numbers on the side that you won't be able to see when the model is completed. 27L there, 27R there, 28 there. Part 2 comes with the connectors. It also comes with a screwdriver. I do recommend getting parts 1 and 2 together. You get a screwdriver with part 2 which has metallic, metallic, it's metallic, which has a magnetic end so it's easier for picking up the screws, screwing them in, things like that. It's a really nice screwdriver considering you get it for free. One of the nicest I have, and I've got a few. Screw them in. Now this isn't this isn't shoddy, um, really loose model making. This is me deliberately um, keeping the screws loose. I don't want to tighten anything. I don't want to finalise anything until all the parts are together. So I might, you know, in two years' time, might be a finalised video. I don't know, or at least until this section's done. So it is loose till I get these other connected parts and I feel confident enough to tighten them to keep it in place more securely. Not much to say. Nice metal. It is going to be sturdy when it's all put together. This is the whole plating from an episode. <laughs> from, uh, I was going to say season then, I'm losing the plot. From issue one, simply, oops, missed. Simply these two things here slot into those two holes there. Look at a little pig face. Thumbs up if you like the pig face. Or oh, I'm just on my own. I'm probably just on my own. Again, I'm not gluing it down. It's just slotted in. I'm guessing it will look like that. There we go. So put, well, it will look like that because I've done everything right. I hope. If I haven't, at any point in any of these videos, just tell me and I'll make amends. Put this on the blueprint. Just here. Ta da There we go. A few holes. You know, aliens might get into the Millennium Falcons at the moment. But, oh well. Okay, and then, also with part two, comes the table. Ta da A table came in three parts, I believe. Which is the stand, the top, and the sticker. So you stick the sticker onto the top, make sure the black lines, it's not exact, but the black lines should um, continue on. I haven't done that right. Fully right. It's good enough. I like it. So this is the sticker. You stick it on. Black lines correspond to the edge of the, uh, the little light indicators here. As you can see, that's not matched up. But that one has, that's slightly off, but that one has. So it's not exact unless I really did miss something. So, uh, yes, here, the table goes there as the little interior bit on the light blue. And finally with issue two, you get some cockpit controls. Again, this comes into parts, the uh, black plastic and the sticker there match up the holes like I've done there because metal um, steering wheels I want to say I'm sure there's a better word for it will come in future issues that will slot in there a little instrument panel the magazine gives you details about what is this instrument panel is all about 
So this then attaches with these two clips here, these two in-focus clips here, to these holes there. Why? Oh, no, it's broken off. I've snapped mine. That's not good. Right, that's a glue job. Drat. So, okay, so we've learned something here. It is really, really delicate. I have been, oh man, I'm kind of gutted about that. It does go in there and cut. There we go. So yeah, it does go in there. I mean, you can't tell there's any damage, so I'm not too gutted. Plus, it will all be glued down. Crikey, this focus. It will all be glued down eventually, anyway. So yeah, so that's what the cockpit looks like at the end of issue two. Put that in the little cockpit area here. And of course it doesn't do it, because it's very cool. Oh no, it kind of does. So there we go. So that's where I'm leaving you all today. Area view there. Of issues one and two of Build the Millennium Falcon. In case you hadn't realised, I'm very excited about this. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of the videos, if you want to see more of the guide, if you just like my voice, who knows? There might be some weirdos out there who subscribe for that reason. And to that, I salute you. Um, Alright, I'm going to go now because I'm waffling. Bye!